Hi everyone, my name is Michael Daly. I'm the director for the Center for Research in Earth and Space Science, and I'd like to introduce that research center to you today. So the role of CRESS is really to help to promote research in a number of ways, both from an outreach perspective and to help with some support internally to the university to move the research enterprise forward. The CRESS has three main pillars. It has a space science pillar, which today is mostly a planetary science focus. It has a development of space technologies and related items. And it has a climate and environment pillar, which has become more important uh, in the recent years. Basically, I measure atmospheric pollutants. Um, I'm mostly concerned with how they mix, how they're emitted, how fast they're emitted, how much they're uh, taken up by different surfaces like forests, urban environments. Um, so really all about um, air quality and the emission of particles and gases and how they mix into the atmosphere and get breathed in by people. My research is in developing technologies for a small satellite. As many of us have noticed, there has been a really great trend in building satellites on a very small scale. And with that trend, there has been also a growing concern about how many objects are currently in orbit, especially in the low Earth orbit. So my own research is in the area of planetary science. So this tends to be the development of space instruments for in situ investigations on the surface of other planets. And the most recent mission that I've been involved with is the OSIRIS-REx mission to asteroid Bennu, where I'm the Canadian lead for the Canadian instrument called the OSIRIS-REx laser altimeter. So within CREST, we have a great number of experimental facilities. We have, for instance, some chambers that are meant to simulate the surfaces of other planets or the space environment. Uh, I think our facilities there are second to none in the country. We also have a great microscopy facility. We have a microfabrication facility. We have facilities where we can develop uh, both payloads and satellites for the study of space and, and other planets. So we really cover the whole gamut here in CREST with uh, some amazing facilities. CREST works with uh, a lot of different entities, government agencies such as the CSA, Environment and Climate Change Canada, or even provincial agencies like uh, the Ministry of, of the Environment. Also with uh, industry, private companies, especially companies that serve the CSA. There has been very large scale, big space missions where CRESS was part of, and we contributed towards those NASA or CSA led missions like the Phoenix mission and whatnot. But there has also been lots of smaller missions where some of us have contributed to, so lots of CubeSat missions, Stratus balloon launch missions where Professor Shan and myself have participated in. We've collected lots of scientific data. More importantly, there has been lots of scientific studies that has been conducted at CRESS where we published lots and lots of papers. And personally, I feel like the biggest achievement that we've done is to train students. Um, many, many, many students at any given time, upwards of hundreds of students are being trained within the CRESS facility with the, the members of the CRESS being the supervisors and they've achieved a lot more than what we can list as our own achievements. And I think that's one of the greatest achievements of the CRESS. So the most recent project that I was involved with CRESS was our fieldwork campaign in the Yukon in the Arctic in Canada this past April, 2023. Since this fieldwork is really a precursor as part of my PhD for a future proposed mission to Mars called the International Mars Ice Snapper Mission or IMIM. And this mission uh, proposes to carry a radar, essentially, which is what I'm studying as a main instrument so that we can image the subsurface on Mars. For my thesis, I'm designing optical antennas on silicon wafers, which means working at very small size scales like nanometer and micrometer. Through CREST, I've had the opportunity to use some advanced manufacturing equipment like electron beam lithography to realize those silicon photonic devices. I'm also excited to be part of the Create Microtechnology stream and to spend more time in the York Microfabrication Facility. CRESS has enhanced my research and student experience in general because with CRESS, I've been able to be more involved with the student community at York, especially with our department at the Earth and Space Science Graduate Student Association, where we represent the body of students in our department. And I'm currently one of the executives for the Graduate Student Association. So we're able to use not only the CREST facilities, but also use CREST as a home base for some of our activities. Being part of CREST means being part of a community of mentors and peers in an interdisciplinary environment 
that will enhance your depth of learning. Come and meet us. Um, there are lots of events that Crest hosts. There are seminars, there are colloquiums, there are networking events, um, there are grad student-led events where anybody can come and participate and meet some of us and find ways that we can work together. So if you have any questions about Crest, you can find us on our website uh, from the Lausanne School of Engineering homepage.